Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. What are you doing here? This is a private party. Sisters of Death opens with a college initiation ceremony. Sisters, the pledges are ready. That goes quite badly wrong. <laughs> Actually, it's hard to see how it could have gone any worse. A tragic but accidental death. Seven years later, the girls have grown up into diverse, well-rounded characters. The hippie. The spirit of truth tells me it is wrong. The fallen woman. Do you have a wife? The kooky one. You know, I always knew there wasn't any truth to that police brutality stuff. <laughs> the slutty one. Strange cars are my specialty. And average Judy. Holy she looks great. Who is our way into the story. They all receive an invitation to a college reunion so they can relive those happy, carefree days when they accidentally shot their mates in the head. They must be insane. But when they get to the meeting point, all they find is two guys waiting for them. And we're going to drive you to your destination. So, in response to a mystery invitation and at the behest of two total strangers, they get into a car <laughs> with blacked out windows to go they know not where. I want to know where we're going. That would have been a good question an hour ago. It's my check. <laughs> Arriving at a compound surrounded by an electric fence <laughs> and still finding nothing suspicious, the girls settle in. We don't need a bathing suit. I mean, we're here alone, aren't we? Are we? Well, of course we are. You've been delivered to a remote house where there is a welcome sign along with food and champagne, and you think there's no one else here? Separate bedrooms with our names on each door and a bathing suit for each of us. Seriously, still nothing? This isn't striking anyone as odd? I don't care who planned this. Of all the dumb things they do and the questions they fail to ask, the sisters' wow. blithe acceptance that this whole reunion was set up by a casual well-wisher they've never met is still what I find most baffling. No, but I just feel a little weird about this whole thing. I imagine most of you can guess who brought them here. But surely you haven't forgotten my daughter. <gasps> oh my God, it's Mr. Clyburn. Where this is going? One dead girl and four potential victims. And what happens next? <laughs> but what's irritating is that even once you've bought the girl's total lack of suspicion... Looks to me like someone was expecting us, girl. There's still so much more to buy. Are you kidding me? The guys need to get in to provide love interest. Nothing, right? Oh, you really are horny, aren't you? Oh, switching on your electric fence is Maniac 101. Damn it! You take that fence and you'll burn up! Now it's on, they're trapped. <laughs> Except the fence isn't really that high. Get a table, stick a chair on it, you could just hop over. Just that I can't seem to come up with any good escape plans today. In fact, that tree you're sitting under is way taller than the fence it's next to. You're lying. This happens the morning after the first death. When it gets dark, that joker up there is going to be able to get to those girls. Oh, better act quickly. The whole day passes and they do nothing, and not just them. The vengeful father is apparently quite happy to wait. Tomorrow, Judy. Tomorrow, everyone will know everything. Although he may be relying on his trained spider. <laughs> the rattlesnake in the tool shed. And just plain stupidity. <laughs> It's not a bad idea for a film, it's really not, but why did they come here? To hell with your reunion. Why don't they leave? You're not leaving. Not yet. And why does the father put vengeance on hold while the woman who murdered his daughter offs the potential witnesses one by one? One surprise after the other, it's fantastic. 
Like the rest of the movie, the twist is visible from a pretty long distance, but it's still a decent twist. I made it. Until you start to think about it. Elizabeth was beautiful and talented. Judy wanted to be number one. She couldn't while Elizabeth was alive. If that's her only motive, then that is one cold-blooded killer. And yet she still has nightmares. <coughs> More importantly, who goes to the reunion of a college where you killed someone? I thought it was a good idea. All that stuff earlier about how incredibly suspicious this all is takes on a whole different complexion when you know one of the girls is harbouring a secret like that and still goes. It's been quite a reunion. Just RSVP no. You're really upset. Thanks for watching. For more in-depth discussion of this film, join us on Patreon. What other movie characters would have been safe if they had just exercised like this much common sense? Let us know in the comments below. <coughs>